Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and in this one we're taking a look at the Town Hall 10 highlights, just 10v10, um, no 10v11 from this war. I think 10v10, a little bit more important to focus on for this video, because I've had a lot of uh, 10v11 type videos in the past that you guys can check out. Not a whole lot has changed at that, um, but 10v10, always dynamic, always uh, base builders trying to outsmart attackers, trying to outsmart base builders. So uh, let's take a look at a few attacks um, by both sides here. Um, this first one, Matty J. Um, let's see, he's doing a pretty much a mass laloon, a suicide hero mass laloon. Uh, we'll fast forward, gets that test of the pop. That's mainly just to make the pathing easier so the loons don't pause when the test of the pops so they directly target it. Um, so that's a good idea to do with a wall breaker or something. If you know the test is there, go ahead and get it to pop. It'll make it easier for your loons to path uh, towards it. So wall breaks open the king to tank uh, for the wall breakers and also for the queen and also to clear the funnel. So good value from the king. Queen steps in right here, um, pops the ability and uh, gets the inferno, but also almost gets the defensive queen taken out. Um, one of the rare times the queen was smart and targeted the defensive queen instead of the skellies at first. So it gets her to pretty much no health. The skelly, tra uh, the skelly spell, he had that. He wasn't even expecting his queen to get uh, the queen taken out, but almost does. Um, but he'll go ahead and drop the skelly on her just to finish her off. There's the rage. Um, pretty much sending these loons through. Pretty good pathing. There is quite a few air defenses still up. I think he went into at least three of them, if not all four, but had the Inferno Tower down. The air defenses oftentimes aren't your biggest threat uh, because even after the Lava Hounds pop, if you have a big group of loons, the AD can't take them out fast enough. Nice heal spell on the back end. And one more haste. Can't stress these back end haste spells enough. They're important to have because this is when your loons, if they move too slowly, they're going to get taken out by wizard towers, especially if you don't have a heal for them. And uh, you got to make sure you at least have some back end loons or a haste or a heal, something to protect them against the uh, the backside of the base there, those last few defenses, which can be deadly even for a big group of loons. Um, so nice hit to Matty J. We'll take a look at one more by the invite um, all-stars, and then we'll take a look at two by the premier all-stars. So down 18 here. This is... <clears throat> Yutta, or that's the defender. This is, oh, Mandy J again. I didn't even realize. Uh, looks like he had a six pack, which is awesome in uh, in a all-star war against some very good bases. Getting a six-star war, always um, always good, even at Town Hall 9, but at Town Hall 10, uh, that, is, that is very, very impressive. So nice stuff to him. Easy bowler bounce onto that... Um, Air, air defense, I don't think it gets completely taken out here uh, because there's not enough hit points on that gold mine. So the gold mine goes down before the air defense. So it doesn't quite get that AD taken out, but I think he has a few wizards um, in the king to kind of finish it off there. Drops the queen on the other side, grab the AD, and also help funnel the dragons. And yeah, there's the wizards behind the king um, going to step up, get the king taken out, and uh, or the air defense taken out. The funnel's created. Uh, now it's just time to drop the dragons. Could have started them a little bit earlier while the king is tanking because the king goes down, then all of these expos retarget onto the dragons. So if he had dropped the dragons earlier, would have got some better value from the king. But I guess he wanted to make sure he got the defenses, uh, like the air defense and that kind of stuff down before the dragons came in. There's the, uh, the, the CC Lava Hound, a clone spell and a haste. Um, so basically turns one loon into about seven or eight loons uh, with two haste spells, gets that error defense at uh, three o'clock taken out, and also comes in and gets many more defenses taken out while the dragons are still working. There's that last haste with a few more loons for the top air defense. Um, still has a few dragons going. Doesn't quite get that air defense with those loons he hasted in, um, but I think that one loon will get a crash onto it. Nope, that one loon is still up, so... That one, uh, a little bit scary there, but I think he's going to barely get the three-star here. That one air defense doing work, but it can't take out these troops quick enough. Dragon gets on it. It goes down. Nice attack to Matty J. Nice two attacks to him. 
uh, for the invite people. Now let's take a look at CWL Premier All-Stars. We had um, some nice <clears throat> 10v10s as well, starting with 28. I think these are a little bit lower level bases, um, but still good attacks. We have um, Golem, the defender, and the attacker being Soa Comte, something like that. A nice Queen Walk Hog attack. Um, something we don't see that often with the queen walk paired with the hogs it's much more common that we see two golems in the queen just as part of the kill squad but i like the queen walk here getting some good value uh defense is taken out uh looks like she gets um, an archer tower some wizard towers a cannon and then meets up with the kill squad so very nice stuff there drops that rage so a pretty big investment on this queen walk you have the four healers plus the rage on the queen but gonna get some good value for it has the time to spare oftentimes these hog attacks are deceptively quick because once you start the kill squad the hogs follow very soon after and if you drop your cleanup wizards and goblins correctly you can uh, you can get the base taken out very quickly another rage spell so bringing three rages two for the queen one for the kill squad has the jump as well for the kill squad so only one heal for the hogs but only has 13 hogs it's mainly a kill squad based attack which i like on these lower level bases bring a bigger kill squad less hogs overpower the base let your heroes really get great value gets the lava hound taken out ahead of time which allows him to let his queen just uh, destroy some defenses once she gets into the core here the healer is also going to go to work on the kill squad not just the queen um, there are the bowlers the king uh, there's the jump everything moving forward we'll get that first inferno tower taken out very quickly uh, now the heroes are going to go down those core teslas and already starting the hogs has 20 hogs just one heal spell he's relying on his uh, kill squad to push in and get that next inferno tower taken out so the hogs don't have to deal with it only has that heal for the wizard tower expo area which is an important area to heal because you have the splash damage from the wizard towers plus the high hp of both wizard towers and the expo important to heal there uh, but pops the queen's ability gets that uh, inferno tower taken out and now the hogs don't need that last heal one healer is still alive somehow keeping the queen up and the cleanup troops moving around the base so nice attack there um, big investment in the queen walk but gets the cc uh, cleared out which is important if you can get your queen in the middle of the base without a lava hound to distract her she can get some great value uh, so nice attack there let's take a look at one more here then we'll wrap up this video um, number 29 just one down we have uh, Pachuco Jr. taking on uh, Mud TKE and it's going to be a mass miner you know I always say against the low level bases look to use the miners they're a simple attack doesn't take a whole lot of um, complicated uh, little tricks or uh, cheeky stuff it's pretty much straight up heroes to funnel drop the miners it does take some skill for funneling for spell placement uh, for timing of the heroes and the miners that does take practice um, don't get me wrong but it's going to be much easier and have much more room for error than like a hog attack would or a dragon attack or something else that you typically see at town hall 10 um, so this uh, cc lava hound makes it an even better candidate the level one infernos if it's a low level base like this that has a CC Lava Hound, you should seriously consider miners, especially when you have the traditional two Inferno Towers, one on either side of the base there. Um, they're not even offset to try to throw off miners. They're pretty much straight up standard position Inferno Towers, which makes it an even better candidate. I think he should have brought one more heal, that extra rage. Um, I've always wondered why people bring uh, two rages in three heals if they're all being used on miners if you have all five spells for miners bring you can bring the one rage for the core but bring four heals the the rages aren't that great for miners it's not going to get you a whole lot of value he's he's pretty much swagging this last spell here no use for it so he, if he needed use for it it would have been much better as a heal uh, he does just drop it in the middle of the base there but my point being if it was closer the heal would have been much better than the rage so typically 
don't bring more than one rage for the miners. Uh, just for the core of the base, the CC, heroes, Inferno Towers, a lot of high HP buildings, that's where you want the heals, or that's where you want the rages, um, and that's just one location typically on the base. So nice attack. That will do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Have the Town Hall 9s coming out very soon, so stay, uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, coming out tomorrow probably. But uh, good job to all the Town Hall 10s in this All-Star War. Great stuff. Very encouraging for the Clan War scene as a whole to see these awesome attacks and see all the variety at each Town Hall level. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.